hello everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome so i did get another collab from madam glam i selected these four colors i'm gonna go ahead and continue showing you guys the swatches of these gel polishes So this is how this looks with the two layers. All the swatch sticks in the previous clips had only one layer. I'm going to go ahead and begin nail prep. I am just taking a bit of cuticle oil and rubbing that into my nails. I am doing a peel off base coat today so I will be applying top coat on all of my nails and curing that in the lamp for about 30 seconds. Now it's time to glue on my nail tips. I am gonna be using base coat. This is just the easiest way to adhere my nails with the peel off base coat. I slightly trimmed my nails off camera and now I am just going to blend the tip with the nail using my sanding band. We're going to be using the base coat again. I am going to apply that on all of my nails and cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. I think we're getting into a weird area here. So today I am using the Model 1 Slip Solution. I missed using this so much. I love this slip solution and I'm not sponsored by them. I just really like their slip solution. And I'm going to be using their poly gel today. And this is in the color 04. I do have it linked in the description box. It is from a poly gel kit. I'm placing a bead at the tip of my nail and then I'm just going to blend my way around.
now we are finished with application and these are for my nails look i did go ahead and wipe off the sticky layer with alcohol Here are how my nails look after filing. As you guys already know, I like to add an extra step and just wipe away all of that nail dust with some alcohol. Let's just make sure that nothing catches on when I do the gel art and top coat. So I am going to be drawing a French tip today and I'm going to do my best to explain how to draw French tip because I did get a request. So I actually just make two diagonal lines on the nail and I kind of try to bring it to the center. And then I do draw a line at where I want my smile line to end. I do kind of want a deep French today. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> And once I kind of have the smile line that I like and I'm okay with, I'm just going to fill in the rest of the nail. And as you can see that this gel polish is very pigmented and a pigmented gel polish really makes a difference in how your gel art comes out and how your French tip also comes out. It's really, really important and vital to this French tip.
Once I was done with the French, I did cure that in the lamp for a full 30 seconds so that we can start the flame art. I'm going to be taking the green highlighter first and I'm going to be drawing a flame. So the best way to draw flames is to draw a line and then create a hook at the top. This is the best way to, for you to shape any type of flame art and this is the way that I do it. I ended up deciding that I wanted to add a second layer just to kind of bring out some pop to the green. I really want it to stand out, so I am going to add a second layer of this green. And make sure that it's not too thick when you are doing a second layer. I will admit that it is kind of hard to bring out some color when we are working on a dark canvas. <laughs> Once I was done with that, I did go in with the neon green to kind of give it an extra bit of pop. So I'm going to place a third layer. If you don't want to do three layers of the gel, you can just do one layer of the green highlighter and then another, a layer of the neon green. Once I was satisfied with that, I did go ahead and cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds and went to apply some top coat on all of my nails and cure that in the lamp for a full 60 seconds. <laughs> So 
so here are how my nails turned out let me know what you guys think in the comments this is kind of giving me halloween vibes and i know halloween's kind of early around this time i really can't wait to start transitioning to spooky nails i have everything that i used linked in the description box please don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching Thank you.